think Ding Dong Dash, but for a new generation. The TikTok challenge that involves kicking a front door and running away before the occupants answer plays out over and over again on the social media platform. TikTok challenge. But at the same time, terrorizing this quiet Vancouver Island neighborhood. That's just appalling. It's just ridiculous. Like, what's happening to us? I think it's wrong. Many asking not to be identified for fear of being targeted. It got to the point where it was frightening. You'd be sitting, you know, in the evening watching the news, and all of a sudden it would sound like the whole door was coming in. And so you'd get up to go, and away they'd be running, giggling and laughing at us. But last Sunday, Owen May, a resident who did not want to speak on camera, decided enough was enough. He says he and his neighbors had repeatedly reported the incidents to police, but when nothing was done, he set up a tripwire with fishing line under his door. Telling Global News, I got a catch of my lifetime the other night. One of them got tangled in a piece of my fishing line I left outside my door. Then he shared this video. It shows May's wife pouncing on the young man. May says an assault ensued. It's important to note that portion of the video was never shared. It was brutal though to see the, the violence. So it's just sad to see that this is starting to happen here. There's no reason for it in this day and age. May says the altercation landed both he and his wife in hospital. She suffered lacerations to her eyelid. His feet and legs were equally roughed up. RCMP were not available for comment, but in an email to May confirmed officers had identified two youths involved writing, I will be forwarding my report to Crown Council with recommendations of charges. But May says he's been made aware he could be facing charges of his own. Relevant to Section 247.1 of the Criminal Code of Canada, traps likely to cause bodily harm. It seems very complex, and so it is going to require further police investigation in order to determine what's appropriate. But May is defending his actions, and so are his neighbours. I think the police didn't pay enough attention to the homeowner. It's been playing hard on him. And while posting the challenge may rack up the likes online, here in the real world, no one is getting a kick out of it. Kelly Stanton, Global News.